Okay, we, we're going to calculate another area of triangle, uh, this time using Heron's formula. Heron was some Greek guy who came up with this, pretty useful engineering in some cases. And the way I know I need Heron's formula is because as I look at my triangle, I know that side, that side, that side. I don't know any angles. So the last formula that involved one half AB sine C, right? That's not going to be useful. I don't know what the angle C is. So we need Heron's formula in this case. And there's two particular things you need. Well, I mean, the area is one of them. That's the answer. But to get the area, you need to first calculate what's called the semi-perimeter. And I'm going to give you a formula for the semi-perimeter here. It's simply one half of the perimeter. So the perimeter is A plus B plus C. One half of that is your semi-perimeter, right? It's like a semi-circle. So let's just plug in the things we know. Uh, a is 26, B is 29, C is 25. And what do we get? I'm just going to pop this into my calculator real quick. 26 plus 29 plus 25 divided by 2 is 40. Okay, so S is 40 is the answer to the first part of this. This is 40 units long for the semi-perimeter. It says one decimal place, but that's a nice round number, so I don't need to say 40.0. I can just say 40. Now we calculate the area. That's the next part of Heron's formula. The area, this is where you have to kind of hold on to your butts here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a long one. Square root of a lot. It's the semi-perimeter times the semi-perimeter minus A times the semi-perimeter minus B times the semi-perimeter minus C. Okay, all of that under the square root. I guess I made my square root a little too long. How he figured that out is a fun topic. We can talk about it sometime if you ask me, but I'm just going to plug in these numbers here. I'm going to try to wrap this up. So it's going to be 40 times 40 minus, what is A? 26 times 40 minus 29 times 40 minus 25. And if at this point you're thinking, boy, this is a lot of work. Well, it, it, it kind of is. Um, you, you do have to work through a bit here to get the answer to this one. But if you type all that stuff in, okay, I've been doing that while we're talking, I get 304 and some change, but I'm rounding it to 304. Okay, so area equals 304 units. Okay, so that's how you use Heron's formula. There's two important bits to it. One, let me, let me box those in for you if you want to just get the the summary at the end of the video. One is semi-perimeter right here. Two is the area formula right here. And you have to be kind of patient as you type that in. Be careful not to round until the end. If you have a decimal value for semi-perimeter, don't round it. Just put the decimal in there. It's, um, it's the best way to not make errors.